So mm -hmm. here is the formula. If you are traveling somewhere and you happen to be flying somewhere and flying home, this is the process that we do. Every time we get and harvest whatever we're going to get, we actually go to a Walmart, Meyer, whatever it is. Normally it's Walmart because yeah. they're everywhere. And we buy one of the cheap and anywhere from $24 to $26. It's either Coleman or Igloo. They all make them. Yeah. But they're they're cheap coolers. But Less than 30 bucks. Yes. It's like a two and a half by two and a half by two and a half cube. Yeah, Works but out perfect. the best part is they have wheels. That's the key. That's you the want key. the one with wheels. They're also, being cheap, they're relatively light, mm -hmm. which is good because when you think for the next part is the weight is important. Then what we do is we buy a bunch of those blue ice packs that are like a dollar. Now, here's the thing. When you fly, you cannot use dry ice because it's apparently like a bomb. Also, don't mention bomb when on the plane because everyone <laughs> freaks out. But <laughs> it's like grow up. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you can't use dry ice. So you buy the blue packets and they're like, you know, like the liquid blue things. Then what we'll do is we'll freeze the meat overnight if possible, but it's not necessary, but if possible, we will freeze it and we freeze the blue packages overnight and normal. And then what we'll do is we'll put about 38 pounds of meat into those coolers and then we'll put about seven of those blue ice packs. And then the, the weight of the thing normally ends up being – the cooler itself ends up being about five pounds, and then you're at the 50-pound mark. Then what we do is – so you've got your meat, your ice blocks, which are the blue things, <laughs> and then you've got the cooler. You shut it. It's a top-folding lid. You shut it, and we duct tape the living bejesus out of it. I mean like stupid around duct tape. Around in both directions. At least a whole roll. the top. A whole roll oh, basically. So we take that to – the airport, and then we just check it like it's luggage. We look them straight in the eye, and we say, this is luggage, and they ask what it is, and you tell them, and they say, okay, and then they just check it like a bag, and you're only paying 30 bucks to ship it. Yeah. It's true. Ironically, if you come to our studio, if you like to take a look in our basement <laughs> or garage, or hell, at this point, probably Ryan's room, we have 20 a, of them. We, at least. I mean, at least. We're using them as end tables. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many of these coolers. But it's a decent investment because you're only spending about 60 bucks in total between the tape, the cooler, the ice, and the, the shipping itself to get the meat home. And you have a lasting value of continuing to have the cooler. I can't give away enough. We should, we should do giveaways on our That's Facebook of like – Some bloody coolers. <laughs> we clean some of them. Um, <laughs> My but, family's tired of getting them as gifts. <laughs> <laughs> that is the formula to get your meat home the cheapest. That's that's what works for us. Now, again, the trial and error we talked about, Jeff's, we just had a final trial and error. So one of the things that I realized was every time we would tape the bejesus out of them, the airlines would then cut them open once we turned them in and they were out of our care, couldn't even see them anymore. We're sitting in the waiting area probably eating at Chili's, and they cut into them and to see what's in them, to verify. It's not basically just make sure there's no dry ice in them. Or a bomb. Yeah. yeah. Or I guess. <laughs> well, technically, if you leave dry ice in a container and it's closed and it can't, there's no release or vent, it will eventually, it won't, you know, explode like fireball, but it'll, it'll pop open. And it's like a pressure bomb. Potentially violently. Cause right. Because it's all the pressure. Right. So, uh, thanks, Bill Nye. So, anyhow, the <laughs> <laughs> then what happens is they cut into it to see what's in there. And then they have to re-tape it every time. <clears throat> and they use cheaper tape. But they break the whole seal of all of our good tape, so then their tape always seems to hold okay. And so when we get it, it always says, like, there's a little letter in there, hey, we opened it. Their tape's around the outside. That's what it is. So this time when we were uh, – we just got back from our recent trip where we did paddlefish. We also did noodling for catfish. Yep. We also did aodad or awdad or I, – I don't know. Everyone, everyone whole, says I, I really don't know. Either. There's five different ways to pronounce yeah. it. It's I've only heard awdad, but one time on the phone I said aodad, and it got stuck in his head. That's yeah. usually how it goes. <laughs> well, you're I've not. heard people use an L, so I don't – You could say Steve in front of him, but you say Stevie one time, and he, that person will be Stevie <laughs> for the rest of their life. Oh, Yo, you talking about Stevie? <laughs> I hear what I want to hear. <laughs> so – and I, you guys, you guys blew me out of the water here with the thought process. But anyhow, they cut into it, and so I was like, all right, when we package this meat, what we'll do is, because we had three coolers this time from all the meat we had, and that was after sending the paddlefish home already. Yep. So we had three coolers full of meat, and I was like, what we'll do is uh, we won't tape them this time. We'll be sweethearts. Why tape them? Why make it more difficult on them 
because they have then they have to cut into it and they're going to tape it anyways. So when we checked the bags, we did have a really nice young lady that helped us at yeah. the airport, and we explained it to her. This was through Delta, and I was like, "Listen, <clears throat> the meat's in there. I want you to be able to see it. You guys always retape it, so I didn't tape it this time just to let you do it. That way, it's only taped once. We're not wasting any, and then it's not harder on you." She's like, "Perfect. Thank you so much. We'll tape it once we get it back there." She gave us fragile stickers that we put on the sides. So it was like, "Okay, it's in good hands. They know what they're doing. They've never even done that before, so they have extra here." <laughs> So they're good for sure. So we land in Detroit and uh, we get there and we had like the farthest, um, farthest baggage claim, baggage claim away from where we land. Yeah, where they parked the plane to baggage claim was oh my gosh. the farthest spot, which is a decent walk in which the Detroit funny. airport. It's like pushing it a mile. A, we, yeah. we landed at ten thirty and there was not one plane in any other gate leading all the way back to the they main could have terminal. Parked closer, like come on, that's what killed me. <laughs> The pilot's car was parked near there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I I go hauling because AJ, they moved one of our camera bags on the plane in the overhead bins on AJ but didn't tell him. So he was like in a mad dash trying – everyone's trying to get off the plane. He's trying to walk backwards up the aisle <laughs> to find the stuff. And Ryan's like, well, why don't you rush up to the baggage claim to make sure that someone didn't just steal the bag? You know, yeah. someone will be there. So I, I go into full um, CIA mode. I go running down the thing. He was army crawling. I'm checking. <laughs> I'm checking people. Run, stupid. <laughs> I'm checking with. Pe I'm checking people's backpacks, pulling them open, ripping them. No, I'm just kidding. So I go running down, <clears throat> and I see our crazy luggage coming through, um, and I spot AJ's right away because he's got the fun Fetty looking one. I grab that, pull it off the thing, and then one of the coolers I see appearing up to get dropped onto the um, the baggage claim the little spinny loopy conveyor loopy belt th thank you so it comes out and i grab it and it's all taped nice and i'm like okay perfect i pull it off <laughs> a few minutes later nothing's coming nothing's coming nothing's coming another cooler comes up <laughs> and it's on its side and opened and empty and empty <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part <laughs> and there's like blood and juice like pouring on the conveyor belt and that's what everyone else's bags are going through and oh, stuff man. and i'm like looking around and everyone's Sad like, but true. everyone's like what jerk would do this and i'm like i'm that jerk that's almost as bad as the, the last trip we were on <laughs> when we're sitting there waiting and one of those little um little like cat or dog little carriers a little kennel thing mm -hmm. oh yeah comes up and it was open like <gasps> oh yep <laughs> oh no lassie's running on the runway <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like oh no so i immediately open up the coolers and look and the one that was missing sort of was jeffrey's aadad or Audad, which and is I, a shame because it was that was a lot of meat. I know, and I was like, "Oh man!" So they come, they come walking up like a few minutes later. I go, "You want the good news, or the bad news?" <laughs> and he go, and they go, "The bad news." I go, "Jeff doesn't have his meat." <laughs> and they go, "What's the good news?" I go, "We got the cooler." <laughs> 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 so then, uh, um, <clears throat> I end up going because we also had to check firearms. So I end up going to the the area for the oversized luggage, and I'm like, "Hey, you know." What's the deal with airline food and nice. <laughs> and uh, what's the deal with our baggage and stuff? So I started talking to the lady, and she goes, I go, um, and I had the empty cooler in my hand, and she goes, oh, is that all y'all's game? And I was like, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, she goes, hold on, I got it in a bin downstairs for you. And I was like, Ooh. what does that even mean? You know. So she comes up with this big tray of all of the bags. Now, Jeff had his meat in, uh, luckily, freezer Ziploc bags, yeah. which is normally what they're in. I think I left that out, actually, of the description. We put it the meat itself in Ziploc bags and mm -hmm. then, you know. so Somewhat secure. Yeah. So she brings that up and, like, two of the eight ice things. And I'm like, ugh. And, and two bags that we ended up throwing in there of just ice. And the ice was still there. So it had to have happened. I assume as they were putting it onto the like the little cart thing, or as it was going on the starting point of the conveyor belt. Yeah, well, we were at we were had a layover in Atlanta, right? And you were watching people. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I, 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 I was I was watching. I, we we had the last row in Delta. We were balling out, obviously, and uh, we had the last row. And the 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 belt that they pull up to uh, the little carts and stuff to get the luggage off. The guys come up and they're taking the luggage off the cart and they're slinging it into the thing that they drive it to the other planes. And I was laughing because I go, not one suitcase landed upright. They were, it was like they wanted it to land on the. Did they the look front pissed side. or were they laughing? 
N- just numb. Yeah, I numb. Really just said. just <laughs> numb. No feeling. Just another Sunday. Been yeah. dead for years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just slinging on, and I'm like, our coolers are gonna be screwed if they go through this. If they didn't tape it, because the whole day I was like, I sure hope she actually taped it. I mean, I you wonder if like our taping it incentivizes them that like when yeah. they cut the tape, they're like, oh, because I had to cut tape, I must replace the tape. And my fear was there'd be like, well, there was no tape here, so. It, it must be fine. Yeah, it must be fine. We should have put one of those fragile stickers over the top so they wouldn't have oh, to cut yeah. it anyways. Yeah, I mean, you were there. You could have had, had that idea. Then. You put seven stickers on that cooler. <laughs> that is true. And not they one of them us, on the seal. They gave us six, and I put three on mine, and he put three on his. I had four on mine alone. You going to lie on the podcast? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I lie all the time. Nothing I've ever said is true. <laughs> <laughs> good, good point. <laughs> so she brings it out in that bin. I immediately feel the meat, and I'm like, oh, no. I grab the ice packs, and they're still pretty cold. Yeah. And I and like Jeff said, we had um, – because we didn't have enough ice packs, one of the things that we did was we filled a Ziploc bag with ice and then put that in there, too, to add to ice because yeah. we had a little bit of weight movement, and the more cold, the better. And uh, that, of course, made the trip. Mm-hmm. So that still had ice in it. It wasn't just water, which tells me it was in the cooler. For a good amount ve- of time. Very recently. Could have been. Um, so yeah, that's how you. Uh, that is a very long answer to how do you guys ship your game meat. But there it is. Uh, make sure you tape it though, and uh, <laughs> the Ziploc bags are important. And just check it like normal luggage. Tape the living bejesus out of it. Get yourself a twenty. It's something like twenty six eighty eight is I think what it always is. Is yeah. what the cooler cost is, and it's got the roller wheels on it, mm-hmm. and you can fillet a fish on it and not feel bad because you can throw it away. It's good for bow fishing after.